Step three is goal development. You will hear this uh, label setting outcome goals. The clinical health PhD program is part of the health psychology PhD program. This is when we get into the strategy that we're gonna use. So it's one of two tracks, and the goal of the program is to prepare students to practice as clinical psychologists, but also with a health psychology background. So when I think about problem selection, that first part we talked about, we put in high stress job. That was one of the things that came out during our brainstorming, right? The so clinical health science track is one of those programs that takes five years to complete and it generally has to be accredited by an external body. Are you gonna work with the depressed mood first? People who graduate from this program, they can treat the entire person. So it's not just mental health, but it's physical health also. Most of our students complete, and in, in, in the history of our program, they've completed them generally on schedule. Because we know with depression, people tend to become withdrawn. That includes coursework the dissertation, and a pre-doctoral internship. So we'll walk over to the library and um, maybe we'll see some of the staff over in the Academic Center for Excellence. Right now I'm completing my, um, my first year. I did my practicum at the Counseling Center here at um, the university with Dr. Pugh. So Shauna is a doctoral student from the Health Psychology PhD program and as part of that program, they are required to complete a 200-hour practicum. So I want you to pay attention to how students are responding to you. You know, so Sean is completing her practicum within the University Counseling Center, and I provide the supervision for Shauna. I give her cases. I monitor, you know, all of her clinical work, and basically, I'm providing a training opportunity for her. Dr. Peoples? Yes. Hi. Hi. I want to introduce Hi. you to Shauna John Finn. She's one of the doctoral students. And students really look forward to the internship because it's a one year training program, typically away from school, and they actually get to function as a psychologist, not quite independent because they still have supervision, but they really feel like they're working in their field and doing what they came to school to do. So I overall I had a great experience. I feel now that I'm ready to go into the field and have a practicum at an institution in the community. As you know, I'm the advisor for the clinical health psychology program, so I'll meet with you every semester. Dr. Walker is our clinical director. Uh, her, her focus is primarily on early childhood, developmental issues, and family dynamics and she coordinates, in many cases, uh, assigning and uh, placing students in the various agencies through their, while they are training. Dr. Hill is our stats person, so you can see here they're working on a logic model. For application, we like our students to have at least 15 hours in psychology. People also have research advisors. And we do have some specific requirements, like they must have an undergraduate abnormal psychology class. Anybody see any problems there you want to throw out? As well as a physiological class, and we like to see some research background. A couple of things I'll point out. Given that this is a PhD program, students will be intensively involved in research. During the assessment class and your practicum, students also have to take the GRE, which most don't like, but the GRE is a requirement, as well as your GPA. We will look at your GPA, and we typically favor 3.0 and higher. The realistic piece comes in, I would say with the severity, the type of diagnosis, and their pre-morbid functioning. First and foremost, I chose the doctoral program here at Virginia State University because I did decide to do my master's here. And from my experience going navigating through the master's program, I was really pleased with my professors, with the curriculum, and just what I was being given that I felt like I wanted to invest in the doctoral program for myself, but then also I knew they would be invested in me. You know, for this case, it sounds like coping one of the things we let our students know right off the bat is this is not like undergrad anymore. There's no straight lecturing from us. So this is the, um, the observation room. It's very interactive. It's hands-on. We'll observe you while you're uh, administering the test. 
From the beginning, from the very first semester, students start to practice administering those psychological assessments. And you will complete your testing, um, your administrations here with volunteers, and your faculty member observes you on the other side. So They also practice conducting intake interviews, clinical intake interviews, which provide that information we need for the treatment plan. You can't see us, but we can see you, so that allows us to get the information we need. And students are actually observed by us. It can be pretty intimidating, but um, we do have facilities with the one-way mirror, and we can observe students and provide feedback on how well they're providing the services. So as far as the treatment planning, um, when we do like the long-term goals and the short-term goals that go along with the long-term goals. For me, it was very important to get that HBCU experience. Although I felt that um, my teachers and um, my peers cared about me. Long-term goal is matching up with the problem. Um, now I'm kind of getting more of a cultural perspective and a cultural understanding of who I am and how that will display when I go into the work world. So it's not only that compassion and that real true understanding of where I come from and who I am as an individual, but it's more of an understanding of where we are now and where I want to go and how they can support me in getting to where I want to go. And I think that's something that's pretty unique to Virginia State University. They're very tailored to what we need as individuals. They're very personalized for us being that the doctoral program has fewer students in the undergraduate program. So they know me on a personal basis and they know what I need and what my strengths and weaknesses may be and how to work on those weaknesses and build on those strengths.